Hey, in this video, I'm going to give you my honest physical therapist review of the new Medics TENS unit. This is a device used to treat pain in the body. I'm going to unbox it for you, show you how it works, and give you my honest opinion as a physical therapist. My name is Dr. David Midoff and I'm a specialist therapist at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy and this channel is dedicated to helping people stay healthy, active, and mobile while avoiding unnecessary surgery, injections, and pain medications. We make videos with helpful advice, tips, exercises, and stretches and you can find them in our playlist tab or down in the description below this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos we post every single week. So let's get to talking about the TENS unit. I'm going to open the box here. And this box is really nice, by the way. It's got this magnetic closure. So uh, this is probably a box that you want to store it in and, and leave it in your closet or wherever you like to store this so that it is nicely stored away. And there's the device right there. It's a lot like unboxing uh, one of the new latest and greatest mobile devices. And it looks a lot like a mobile device. So there's... The device and it looks a lot like a phone like a smartphone so I'm gonna set this down but there you go so you can see it Let me do that right there and here's the back of it right there you got some labels on there it comes with this chart looks like an anatomy chart um, but it is actually an acupuncture treatment points guide so that's pretty cool has all the points labeled on the body. Then it comes with this pad placement guide so you can see where to put the pads on your body. It also has the instruction manual here, the user's manual. And um, it's kind of like a pamphlet, not really a book. There you go. And I'm gonna show you how to use it anyway. I've read all this for you. And we've got a bunch of cables to look through. So we got two sets of these cables. These are going to be the ones you're going to hook up to the electrodes that you're going to go on, on that are going to go on your skin. And these plugs attached to the device. Let me show you right here at the top. You have A and B, and the reason for that is because you can actually run two separate cords or, or two separate um, treatments, I should say, uh, on your body at the same time. So you could. Um, target two different body parts or double up on the same body part. So there you go. Then we have a power cable and this is a micro USB power cable and it attaches to the bottom of the device right there. The cable would just go in like so. There we go, it just snaps in and then we have our standard USB uh, on the other end. And we've got in here the power block. I haven't actually opened it because um, I just plugged it into my computer and it charged just fine on my computer. But it does have a USB opening here on, on this power block so you can plug it in to any outlet. And I've already charged this up, so not, no need to charge it right now. Now there's more. This actually comes with a lot. Um, you've got this device here. Let me show you this. Um, this is a, a pretty stiff piece of plastic and the point of this is you put your electrode pads on there and then wrap the cords around so that it saves you time from having to detach everything and put it back away inside the box um, or inside these little plastic bags you can just um, put it on this because these pads are reusable so let me show you all the pads it comes with so it comes with these two uh, pairs of medium-sized pads oh i'm sorry we get three pairs of medium-sized pads then we have the large pads for bigger parts of your body and then we have some itty bitty pads that are maybe a couple inches long one inch wide there you go you have a pair in every uh, um, bag here and then this is pretty cool i thought this was neat it comes with a case for the device so i'm going to snap that on the device it looks like it just snaps on just like a phone case would there you go. So now it's protected in case you drop it. Oh, actually, I put it on backwards. The case goes on the other way. You see there's the, the opening for the power switch and the power switch on this side covered up by the case. So let's get this off here and put it on the other way. Sorry, just figuring this machine out. 
Now, in physical therapy, um, TENS units are used like all the time, at least in kind of the older school physical therapy. Um, and I'll tell you why that is here in a second before the video is over. We'll talk about that. Okay, now the case is on correctly. I haven't taken off the stickers. I don't know if they're permanent or not. But now the power switch is visible. And let's talk about just what's on the device. Let me give you an overview of all the buttons on here. So, so right here you have your power switch and that just slides over and back. And once you slide it on, the screen turns on right away. And this is not a touch screen, just so that you know. It's just a, a big display. Let me turn it off for a second. This button right here is your mode button. So that's to switch back the modes. This is the time. This is your A and B toggle. So this is port A and this is port B. All the case kind of covers it up, but you just need it. If you're looking at the device, the left would be A, the right would be B. And this is to increase and decrease the intensity or the time on this side right here. So let's switch it on so you can see what it looks like when I mess with the buttons here. All right, so if I hit, right now the, the default is set to neck one. If I hit mode, it goes to neck two. And then it goes over to shoulder one, shoulder two. And if I keep going, it goes to back one, back two, and it just cycles through each of the body parts. So those are all the different modes there through one and two. Um, acupuncture there, kneading, tap on the bottom, and then constant. And then if I hit, see I'm on A right now, nothing's plugged in, so nothing's gonna happen, but right here, A is blinking. If I hit the A, B button, then it goes over to B, and I can decide to use a different mode. So if I'm on A, I can be on, let's say I wanna do my elbow, that's what I'm gonna do for you here in a second. So I'm gonna go to elbow one, it's gonna stay there, and we're gonna go to B, now B is blinking, and let's say I want to do my neck. So I'm going to, I have to cycle through everything until I get back up to neck. There we are. We're on neck one now. So if I go back to A, oh, it defaulted back to neck. So uh, I played with it earlier and I got it to work. It seems like it's a little glitchy. Um, like it kind of resets like that when you get back from A to B. All right. So then uh, you can hit the plus sign here to go. Up, you can see the plus, and this is a minus right above the B, uh, minus right above the A, and plus right there. Battery level, and then there's your default time. If you want to mess with the time right there, you hit the time button, it just went up to 30 minutes, 40, 50, 60, and then it goes back down to 10. But the default is going to be 20 once you turn it on. All right, now let's talk about how to use this device. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you charge this device. If you've purchased one, which by the way, if you want to purchase one, there's a link in the description below uh, to go get one on Amazon. These are available on Amazon. Um, they run about $30 to $40 depending on you know price fluctuations throughout the year, which is extremely affordable for a device this nice. I, I really like the quality of this device. It's well built. Um, so I think that $30 or $40 will go a long way for you if you're dealing with chronic pain especially and you want some alternatives to pain medication and all that kind of stuff. So um, anyways, charge your device first. Um, then you're going to go over to your skin wherever you're going to uh, do the do the treatment. So I'm going to do it on my elbow right here. I've actually already cleaned it off. So what you want to do is just go to the sink in your bathroom or your kitchen, wherever you wash up and put some soap and water on there and then dry it off. Just to take off any sort of lotions, oils, dirt, any uh, loose skin, dead skin, that kind of thing. And you don't want to put this on over a wound of any sort, any cuts or scratches. You don't want to put it there. Um, so your best bet is just to, if, if you're, say you are treating an area that maybe has a scratch on it or a cut on it, just move the electrode pad over a bit so you're not directly on that, that wound or that, that scar. I'm sorry, that, that scab. Um, so I'm just going to use a medium size um, electrodes. These are the electrodes. That's what they're called. And these are reusable sticky. So they have this little white section that's not sticky. That's where you would grip it from. And then you would just peel it off like so. You probably want to save this so you can reuse it. And for an elbow, you would just put it like this. And it hurts on the inside of your elbow, put it on the inside of your elbow. Um, you pretty much just put these around wherever you you hurt or in the area it's supposed to go through the area um, that you're going to be treating around the area that you're going to be treating then your next step is you're going to get your electrode cables and 
open them up and then you're gonna plug this part well no first plug these two and one's positive and negative um, so you're just gonna choose one on one side one on the other side and those just snap on and you could snap these on before you stick them to your skin there isn't really a, a first step a, a appropriate order for that now I'm gonna take the other end of the cord and plug it into the A slot. You could do B and just make sure it's on B. And now I'm ready to go. So the device is on. Switch it on, of course, if you haven't already. Let me just start over again. Let's switch that bad boy on. All right, so the screen will light up blue. And then I'm gonna put it on elbow, which is this square rectangle right here. And I'm on A, I'm plugged in on A. So I'm cycling through, it's on back one, back two. All right, now we're on elbow this is on my elbow and then I'm going to start hitting the plus sign and I can already feel little buzzes going through the device on my arm I'm gonna hit the plus sign a couple more times to drive up the intensity and already it's it's getting a little intense it's not bad at all it feels like my muscle wants to flinch a little bit maybe it is Ooh, there we go the next the next uh, uh, plus sign up made it uh, wiggle a little bit this device is pretty powerful. I'm actually impressed. Ah, oh, there it goes again. So then you can, uh, I'm gonna go to uh, elbow two and it just goes at a different frequency as far as um, how often it, it uh, buzzes you. Like this one's gonna buzz a little bit shorter, a little, a little higher frequency. So it's gonna buzz and then stop, buzz and then stop. Whereas elbow one was buzz, stop. It just takes a longer break basically and it has a longer um, interval of, of the, of the electricity the the transcutaneous nerve stimulation that's what tens stands for all right so let's say i'm going to do another body part simultaneously because that often happens right people that have like neck problems and it radiates down to their arm or back problems or their back and their neck so i'm just going to stop this for a second so it doesn't catch me off guard Oop, i set it to 60 minutes okay let's I reduce the intensity So now since my neck and shoulder area is bigger, I'm gonna use these big pads. And be, actually before I unstick this, I'm gonna stick the electrodes on because it's gonna be hard to reach behind my neck and back and, and snap the button on there. So let me undo the this cord. There you go. Snap one on. And it doesn't matter which electrode you put the black on and which one you put the red on. Um, the only thing you want to do is not put black, black, or red, red in the same area. You want, say I'm doing my elbow right here, one needs to be black, one needs to be red. And same thing for the other one. So one is black, one is red here. This is going to go on my neck and shoulder area. So I'm going to unstick that there. Okay, so now I'm going to reach over. And by the way, this is not plugged into the device yet. So I don't hurt myself. The risk of getting hurt with this stuff is quite low. The machine isn't that powerful enough to kill you um, or you know severely hurt you. The only risk that I, I will mention is if you have any sort of device implanted in you, like a pacemaker or some sort of stimulator, um, this would not be something that you could use. It is contraindicated. Do not use this if you have a pacemaker or any other electrical advice that's implanted in you or if a doctor's told you to stop using this or avoid using this then of course follow your doctor's directions but if you don't have any devices implanted in you you don't have any other known uh, reasons to to not do this then you should be safe to do it and by the way th this cord is it's a two um cord it's two cords stuck together so you can just pull it apart a bit like that to stretch it out in case you need to reach a broader area all right let's get on with this on my neck so I'm just gonna reach behind me here it doesn't have to be super precise you would just put it in the general area that was the left here's the right it's over my spine you're not gonna be able to see too well sorry this is a g-rated channel <laughs> and then you can take your other end and I'm gonna plug it into the B side of the device. And let's get both going at the same time now. So I've got my elbow set up and my neck and shoulder set up over here. 
and let's get A set up. So we're flashing on A and I'm just going to turn up the intensity there. Let's put it on to where it makes my muscles flinch. One more notch to do it. Yeah, there it goes. Now my muscles are flinching and then I'm just going to hit once I set that up, I'm just going to hit the A, B button right here on the bottom. So now B is flashing and I can still feel my, my arm going. A is still going. Now I'm going to light up B a bit and I feel it in my neck now. All right, both devices are going. I was able to tolerate a bit more. Whew, I can feel the buzz on my neck and the buzz on my arm. So there you go. That's transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, TENS, is, that's what that stands for. Um, and that's how you would use it. Pretty simple. I mean, it does take a little bit of, of uh, uh, finagling and setting up, but once you run through it once or twice, then it's pretty straightforward. All right, now let me just switch this off and let me give you my opinion about this and run through some pros and cons for you about this device. For my pros, I love that this is battery operated. And what the manufacturer says on their website is that the battery lasts for 20 hours. I don't desire to use this for 20 hours. I mean, the timer is defaulted to 20 minutes. That's a typical treatment time uh, that you would get like in a medical clinic for these kinds of devices. Um, and so uh, that's an excellent lifetime on the battery or, or life of the battery. Um, so you don't have to charge this too often. And it's not like it's difficult to charge anyway. Um, if, you've, if you have a smartphone, you could probably just charge it where you would charge your smartphone. I love that you can treat two body parts at the same time. So this is especially nice. It's a time saver for those that are really suffering from chronic back and neck problems or shoulder and neck problems or lower back and leg problems. And I also love that there's a case here. It just feels, the device is really nice. It's, it's really quality built and I would hate to drop it or scratch it because it's, it's got that, that feel that it's really nice. And so the case just adds that extra um, protection of it that gives me comfort in being able to walk around or move around with this. And then I love the big display and the, the fact that it lights up like that and that there's so many options in there. That's pretty cool. So it makes it pretty straightforward what you're going to do with this device. It, it, it cuts out a lot of the complexity of this. Um, like I said, I'm a physical therapist and I've used electrical stimulation. I, I was trained on using electrical stimulation. They teach it to the students, the physical therapy students going through uh, physical therapy school and the older machines that were out there back in the 80s and 90s and even the early 2000s, even some of the machines that are out there today are much more complex than this and I feel like they give you the same exact result. Now let's talk about some cons. Um, this is not a touch screen. That would be pretty cool if you could just touch things on here, but and it may, it, with, with today's culture and smartphones and all that, I, I wanted to touch it, but you have to only use the buttons down here in order to navigate your way through the controls on the device. But once you get used to it, it doesn't feel like it's that much of a deal breaker. You, you kind of figure out which buttons are for what and you can keep, keep going and to do the, the treatment that you need to do for yourself. And the other con that I think about all the time, and th that isn't necessarily to this machine, but kind of all TENS units, is because uh, you see some with different body parts. I wonder if they're really different from each other, you know, as far as like is the neck function or mode different from the shoulder or the back or elbow or ankle or whatever it is. I don't know. I can't tell. And, and I'm an expert physical therapist. I, I you know, I, I feel like I should know this stuff, but from the feeling of the device, and, and that's not just unique to this device, that's with all devices that, that have difference, differences in modes like this. I can't tell a difference. So I just put it on neck because I have it on my neck and elbow because I have it on my elbow, but I have that looming question of, is there really a difference? But it's not a deal breaker at the end of the day either. My final con about this is more of a personal preference thing. I think some people just really don't like the feeling of electricity going through their skin, their muscles twitching like that. I personally, it's, it's kind of grown on me over the years. I, I, when I first had this done on me, I did not like it. It was scary. It was a weird feeling. But as I had it more here and there, just played around with the machines, being a physical therapist, I was around them all the time. Um, I've kind of gotten used to it and don't mind it so much. Now, if you turn the power all the way up and it makes your muscle spasm intensely, it can be quite uncomfortable, but that's not something that you need to be shooting for every single time. You would put this at a comfortable setting for you. So um, at the lowest setting, you could barely feel a buzz. I mean, it literally feels like somebody's just barely touching your skin like this. And then as you move up to the settings and it gets a little more intense, but you have complete control over the intensity of the device. As far as side effects, uh, the only side effects of electrical stimulation is redness in the area, usually from a reaction to the adhesives used on the electrodes. 
Um, and people a lot of times know that they have those kinds of reactions. Some of these are made with latex and some people have latex allergies. Um, if you leave the machine on for too long, it can actually begin to burn your skin. You can get like blisters or red spots. Um, so I recommend going with the, the, the 10, 20 minute default timer that it has here and very sparingly move up or at least give your skin a break or try different spots on your body if you're going to put this device on you. Now to give you my honest opinion as a specialist physical therapist regarding this TENS unit device and TENS unit devices in general. I really like this device. This is a solid device and a huge update to the machines that are out there at a lot of medical clinics. If you've been to any sort of physical therapy clinic or a chiropractic clinic, they use these a lot of times. Acupuncture clinics might use them as well. I feel like I'm getting the same sensation out of this machine than I would get one of those big giant machines that do this at one of those clinics. I mean, if you've ever seen them, they're like the size of an old school VCR. They're, they're a huge box shaped thing and they've they have a lot more outputs. They'll have at least four usually, and they'll typically do ultrasound in addition to electrical stimulation. Those machines usually are on a table. They, they occupy the whole table, or they're on a rolling cart, that a little moving table that they roll around to the patients to put these on. Um, and if you're going to treatment and receiving that kind of treatment there, and, and for some reason you're not able to go anymore, or you're looking for some alternative, this could be an option for you to keep up that kind of electrical stimulation at home. And I think that it's just as good as what you get from one of those big VCR looking machines at a medical clinic. But as for the new Medix TENS unit device, um, I love it. I love the case. I love the everything about it. It's a pretty cool device. Um, I love that it. it'll fit in your pocket, easy to charge, lasts a long time as well uh, for the charge. Um, and I think it's a great product for you to keep at home if you're dealing with a chronic pain issue that you want to use this in lieu of medications or taking injections. This could help you reduce those medications, especially if you're doing you know, the, the prescription strength medications and narcotic type medications. This is an excellent alternative to using those types of medications. Now, what you need to know about this is this is not curing anything. This is just a short-term solution for pain relief. If you've got like arthritis problems, uh, degenerative problem of some sort, like a degenerative disc in your, in your neck or your back or a, a joint like in your hip or knee or somewhere else, maybe your shoulder, um, this is not going to cure it. And there's all these theories and research on this stuff. And I, I've linked a research study, by the way, down in the description below um, that talks about the effectiveness of this. And scientifically, they found it to be possibly effective, possibly not. The, the, the jury's still out. Um, and they've done tons of studies of, on these. These have been around for a long time, for decades. Um, and there isn't anything definitive on their effectiveness um, for healing anything. For pain relief, you get some mild relief, but even then it's kind of shoddy. So I think it depends on the individual and whether you like it or not. Some people do like it. I've met tons of people throughout my career as a physical therapist that swear by these things. Then I see other people that don't like the sensation of it, or they just say that they don't feel a difference using it or not regarding their pain. And my opinion on that is there's still a root problem that needs to be addressed and the severity of their, of their irritation at this time could play a factor into that. Also the tissue that's involved, like if it's a ligament versus a joint, cartilage, a nerve problem, I think that there's something to the type of tissue that's involved with what this affects. If you're looking for help with fixing the long-term problem for your specific issue, we've got a ton of videos on this channel for helping the long-term. So just go down into the description below and you'll find a link to our playlists where you can find a, a bunch of different specific videos for specific problems um, with exercises, stretches, advice, tips, all kinds of helpful information. And we're going to keep making more as time goes on. So I hope this review was helpful for you and I hope that my opinion was helpful for you as well. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our channel. And if you know somebody that needs to hear this, please share this with them so that they can get helped out as well. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.